G'day Ghost fans, uh, Webby and I would just like to take this minute to apologise for the lateness of this week's upload. Uh, due to some technical difficulties, that being a smashed iPhone, it just took a little bit longer to get things ready than we would have hoped. Now unfortunately there are some videos that aren't as good a quality as you've come to expect from the expert cast here at GCTV, however we've edited them and we don't even think you'll notice. So here it is, better late than never, GCTV round 2. Enjoy. Welcome back to another week of GCTV. I'm Webby. <sighs> and I'm the Ox. Now we're overwhelmed by the response from the, the cricketing community through the week and so we're here again to wrap up round two. Just a cheeky 400 views. Get that in, you have a quarter. <laughs> You're right, Ox? Oh, sorry, mate. Just any mention of the cordon puts me to sleep. Whew. We're not here to talk about the cordon, we're here to talk about GCTV. So let's get into it, eh? This week for Court and Funnels Web, we talk to the people of Sydney. Let's take a look. G'day, Pell, how are you? Welcome to GCTV. I'm Webby. What's your name? TK. TK. Welcome, mate. Um, <laughs> how do you think the ghosts are going to go today? The ghosts? The ghosts. The cricket team. That's us. You don't follow us? No. No. Okay. How do you think... Um, our batting, our batting's going to go today. Depending. How many, how many runs do you think we're going to get? 120. Oh. That's not bad, mate. What do you think? Oh, we hope to get a bit more, I think. What do you think? Yeah, we must try hard enough, yeah. Yeah, thanks, mate. Um, how do you think the bowling stocks are going to go? With the added thing of Tristan and having Burke in the team, it's a big help to us. What do you think? Yeah, and no, I don't think they're that good either, mate. Yeah. <laughs> they're only coming down from first grade. Yeah. First grade, yeah. What'd you get up to today, mate? Other than being down watching us. Thanks for your time, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. You're with Ghost TV. How do you think the game will go today? Do you reckon your students are going to win or the Ghosts? Oh, Ghosts. The Ghosts, good man. That's us. But how do you think Trizzo and um, Berkey are going to go coming back from first grade? No idea. No idea? You don't follow us? Not that much. Do you follow GCTV? Look us up on YouTube, mate. GCTV. Thanks for your interview. Thanks for your time. Thanks, mate. Mate, just with Jason TV, how do you see the game going today? Oh, obviously a few sixes. Do the students, or we're going to win it? What do you reckon? Oh, I can't say so. We've <laughs> <laughs> got as much chance of me as winning this race. Are the guys, yeah. are the guys going to win, or the, the students going to win? The students, I'd say. The students. They've got youth and fitness. How do you think Trizzo and um, Berkey are going to go coming back from first grade? Alright, you're on, mate. You just lost me. Oh, good luck, mate. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Back to GCTV. We're down here with the ghost jets today. Let's go have a couple laughs, eh? Welcome back to GCTV. We're in Court and Funnels Web with the ghost jets. First question for the ghost jets is, what would they be doing if they weren't playing cricket? Shopping. I'd be back home in the cold. We'll go back to that one, maybe. Back home in the cold. <laughs> Dancing. Living life. Sleeping. Water polo. <laughs> Sleeping. Soccer. Netball. Ace in school. <laughs> Second question for the ghostettes. Who's their favourite ghost men's cricketer? Ben. Hotch guy in all Ben Burke. Ben Burke. Ben Burke. Ben Burke. Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> Berkey. Ben. Ben. Ben Burke. Berkey. <laughs> Thanks guys, this is here at GCTV with uh, Court and Files over the ghostettes. Thanks for joining us. Back to Ghost Cricket TV. Uh, we're here with a new segment, Have a Danish with Hamish. Fortunately, we couldn't, we didn't have any Danishes, so we just got a Scott instead. Now, good to have you here. Can I do you want to introduce yourself to the, to the boys? Uh, Fia Kurt, all the way from Aberdeen. Aberdeen. And uh, what brought you up to Campbelltown this year? Uh, just fancy playing some cricket in some nice weather for the gym. Yeah, right. And, um, so you've played on the international circuit before. Now, yes. you're here with the Ghosts. I'll be careful. Uh, how do you think the sledging's going to go? Are you going to be a bit competitive for the girls? or? Um, I'll probably give them as good as they get. Sunday was quite tame, so we'll see We'll see what they've got. Now, you're talking funny. Why is that? <laughs> We're talking proper. It's you guys talk funny. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so what do you see for the, over the next six months? What do you hope to get out of playing for the Ghosts? Uh, hopefully, hopefully learn a lot and score some runs for the girls and just improve all rounds of cricket. And you're enjoying yourself here? The, the girls are all right? Yeah, they're all good. Yeah, good sort. Yeah. Oh, well, best of luck for the season. Thanks Pleasure so to meet you. Me and stay tuned to Ghost Cricket TV. Cheers. Thank you. Catch Welcome back to Ghost Cricket TV. We're here with Ben Burke, rising star of Campbelltown Cricket Club. Now, Ben, started in twos this year and you've gone to ones this weekend. How was that? Uh, yeah, it was good, except it was the other way around. Oh. Yeah, that's all. You got dropped? Yeah. Yeah, I went down, not up. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> so as I said, we're, we're here with Falling Star Bedberg. Now I believe you played a lot of rep cricket in your juniors, from Emerging Blues up to 17s. You made 100 at 17s, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're no, playing no. second grade now. Yeah. How'd you go, mate? Yeah, not as good as 17s, mate. How many did you make? Uh, about yeah. 12. <laughs> Ghost Cricket TV, I'm here with actual rising star Damien Mortimer. Damien, pleasure to have you. Oh, Amish. what's this thing? What's this? It's, it's the catcher's mitt, mate. Catcher's mitt, it's a little, little small. A bit soft, mate. I need a, need a bit of protection on my little hands. Now, some say that since you've made the Australian under 19, was it? That you've become a bit of a, a tool going around. Now, these, yeah, these are tax right off my shoe. What do you say to these guys? It's all bull hockey, is it? Is that what you said, bull hockey? Bull hockey, that's it. Well, there you have it. From, from the mouth of the man himself, he hates the ghosts. Damien, thanks for your time. Thanks, mate. Welcome back again here to Ghost TV. We're here with one of the ghosts' youngest and most bright, brighter talents for the future. Billy, how's it, to, how's it to be on Ghost Cricket TV? Pretty good. Billy? Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, so it's good, yeah. good to be here, mate. Yeah, it's pretty good. And how is it working with Neil DaCosta? You're right under his wing and you've really blossomed. Yeah, yeah, he's been pretty good for me. Um, yeah, just giving a good pathway to me, for me. Yeah, and how's your batting coming along? Are you focusing more on your batting or are you keeping? Or? Uh, probably my batting at the moment, but yeah, we're going pretty well with it, getting some improvement. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how old are you, Billy? Just 12. <laughs> 12, yeah. Right. And what's your high score, mate? Uh, 70 not out. Is that, what about this year? How have you gone so far this year? Uh, well, I've played one proper match and I got 50. 50? Yeah. Did it pretty easy, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you have it. And uh, so, you got to work with Neil. You obviously got into some good habits early. Uh, you got any routines before you, you before you head out there? Uh, yeah, I have a few throwdowns, not too much. And then I just sit by myself and just you know, think about the game. Yeah, those 12 year olds can be pretty immature, can't they? You want to be by yourself. Yeah. Now, are you looking forward to getting out on Raby 1? How far away do you see that in your future? Uh, maybe a year or two. A year or two, and then what do you have for a bit of green shield or first grade? Uh, I'd prefer first grade. But yeah, I'll reach for the stars if you fall around in the clouds. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. <laughs> well, there it is, guys. Billy, it was a pleasure to have you on here, yeah, and thank you. best of luck for this weekend. Yeah. It's time for a new segment here at GCTV called Crash Course Cricket. Take it away, Oxy. Alright Ghosties, welcome to this new segment called Crash Course Cricket. This is how it works. So you'll start over near the stump with Webman or myself. We'll throw you a catch, which you'll take. You then run over to the balls that are lined up and you have a shot at the stumps. Should the ball miss, it lines up behind. Should all six balls miss, they'll all line up behind and then you run around and have shots in the opposite direction. Should it hit, then you then run over, chuck your pads on, and then run over to the slips cradle where you'll have to face three balls that will come in any direction. You must hit three balls. Following this, you'll run over to the cordon. You'll need to ball a ball straight down the corridor to pass through. You do that, you run through. We'll then hit you a high catch, swirling around, you'll take it. You take the stump and we'll stop the clock. Nice course cricket, here it is. We've got the guinea pig Rich, you ready to kick things off mate? Hey, mate as long as it's better than the cordon, I'm good to go. Here we go. <laughs>
Oh. Just came here to win today, and that's just what we've done. We've shown you boys just how to play it, now we'll have your fun. So, Packy Kits, a brand new segment with, with Ghost Cricket TV. Here we go, Packy Kits. Today's CTV for the first segment of Packy Kits. We're here at uh, Ghost Trainers, just going to see who's got a kit around. Let's go have a look. Oh, hey, man, how you doing? Yeah, good, cool, mate. Welcome. Um, do you mind just showing us what's in your kit? Uh, yeah, sure, mate. Uh, this is the Puma. It must be something. I'm just about to go to the bat, actually, so. Give me my bat. It's my bat. Oh, where'd you get that one from, mate? Oh, uh, this is from England, mate. What, you, what kind of bat is it? Oh, uh, it's Duke's. How'd she go? Yeah, good. Kit, take my bat back. Hold on, mate. Who's in here? Is that you, Billy? Get out of here, mate. Oh, yeah. I, I take Billy to most of the games with me, mate. He just holds my stuff for me, gives it to me when I need it. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Billy, how do, you, how do you go with your old mate? Yeah. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, love it. Yeah, he loves coming to the first grade games. The boys love him. And, and that's what's in my kit. Oh, thanks for joining us, mate. We'll see you next time. No, not a worry, mate. Pleasure. Thanks, Billy. Thanks. Cheers, mate. That's the end of the second round. Tell us about it, Ox. Our first grade game. Before we get into it, Webby, we've had some complaints about language, so we've actually scripted this episode. So, yeah, there'll be no slip of the tongues today. Now, uh, first grade, we got royally... <laughs> um, yeah, they did it easy. Uh, we were all out within the first four hours uh, for 132. They finished the day at one for 130. So the, the second day, the script was written before we got there, really. Um, we got one wicket uh, of Scott Henry. He was bold. I can't remember who got him. He's the New South Wales Open. I don't know who got him. It might have been me. I think it was. It was me. That, you yeah. bowled him, didn't you? Yeah, bowled him. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we rocked up day two. They declared after an over, but we showed some real character and batted out the rest of the day. Uh, special credit goes to uh, Adam Coit, made 50, and Gibbo, another solid 40. Maybe tell us about fourth, uh, second grade. Uh, second grade, we also got royally. Um, we got rolled for 120 in the first day, within the first couple sessions, um, due to some good bowling by the students. Um, we came out to bowl and they got our total one down in the afternoon. Um, so. Very average first day of cricket. Uh, second day, a little bit better for us second graders. Uh, we posted a decent score with uh, good contributions by Tristan Muir, Jaden Simmons and Michael Baker. And third grade? Third grade went down in a real nail biter. Uh, in control the whole time. And then really, they just <coughs> it up. You know, they just threw it away. Um, if we have a look here, uh, they went down by two wickets. Um, now by the end of the day, Russell Gascoigne again, looking solid with the bat, and yeah, hopefully, no doubt, they'll turn it around soon, maybe. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, Georgie too, getting a couple of wickets, going to Georgie. Um, for fourth grade, they had a cracker a win again. They are in some fine form, aren't they? Uh, good form, I reckon. Uh, Jamie Malskaitis, he is just killing it down in fourth grade. As skipper this year, he got another 40 and four for the win in the game. He took the ball, he wasn't going to take the ball this season, but look at him, he's taking the ball and winning games for fourth grade. Good on you, Jamie. Uh, fifth grade had a loss this week. Um, special mention goes to Toddy. Uh, as he said, he's got a real young group, but uh, to go down by 14 runs, that'll come towards the end of the season. Uh, yeah, Toddy made runs again, and from all reports, they had fun. They yeah. had fun, and that's why they're there at fifth grade, isn't it? That's it. That's it. They enjoy their cricket down there, good on you, fifth grade. Uh, <laughs> Remember? <laughs> oh, what just happened? Where are we? This is my room, mate. Your room? Yeah. What are we doing here? Mate, I've still got to have a bowl. We better wrap things up. Or wrap them up. <laughs> That's round two. Done and dusty, Ghost fans. Um, this week we play Bankstown. Once threes and fives are away at Bankstown. And on Sunday we have our first 2020 game for first grade. And PG have another 2020 game um, at Waitara. And once more, just a final note to leave you on Ghost fans. Even when Uni's one down, needing two to win, and Greg Mal hasn't even got his pads on. Ghost, Ghost on together. together.